Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you today about the GVXS Tank Lock Tank Bag Series available at Revzilla.com. The GV XS Tank Lock Tank Bag Series sets itself apart from other GV Tank Lock Tank Bags because they're going to be the largest tank bags that GV manufactures in that series, and they're also going to have the XS port. It's a little port in the back of the bag that allows you to run power into the bag. The bags are going to range in size from 15 liters up to 25 liters, and they're all going to be bike universal. However, you need a bike-specific ring to actually mount this to your fuel filler cap. Make sure you're using the bike finder to get the right ring to mount this to your bike. Once you have the right ring to mount it to your bike, install is going to be a breeze. It's really going to be less than a one out of three on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty for installation. We'll talk more about install at the end. Right now, let's dive in and talk about what sets the XS series apart from other GV tank bags out there. So GV has been manufacturing luggage for over 35 years. They're an Italian company and their quality is second to none. They produce luggage for OEM manufacturers as well as a wide variety of aftermarket luggage as well. So what we see in front of us is their Tank Lock Tank Bag series. There's a couple different flavors to this. The ones that we have on the table are going to be the XS series. Now, the XS series shares a wide variety of features. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about all the features that are shared between these bags and then we'll hit on a couple of the differences as we move through the lineup. So the bag that we have in front of me is the 308. This is going to be a 20 liter capacity bag. Now, again, all the features are going to be the same. The 306 is going to be 25 liters in capacity. The 307 on my left is going to be 15 liters in capacity, but they're all going to have these same shared features. Starting with the top, let's work our way through the bag. So on the top of the bag, you're going to see first and foremost this map tablet pouch. Now this pouch is going to be completely removable. You have one clasp in the front that locks it down. You have two clips in the back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually unlock these clips and we're going to pull this off completely just to get it out of the way. And again, this is going to be for you guys out there that are going to rock either a tablet or a map. I'm an old school guy. I'll throw a butler map in here and I like to actually have that paper map with me. This allows you to take it wherever you're going. So underneath that, once I throw that to the side, you're going to see that you still have a map pouch underneath this as well. So again, this is for some of you out there that want to put a cell phone in here or just an extra pouch and you don't want that removable one on top. Again, double layer never hurts. You're also going to see a reflectivity strip going around the entire bag. This will be shared with all the bags in GV's lineup for this series. The zipper that's going to mount is going to be a proprietary GV zipper. And before I open it, I want to kind of zoom in here and you're going to see there's two little locking rings. And this is going to allow you to use a miniature padlock if you want to lock that zipper shut. We open it up, and the bags are all going to share the same universal compartment. They're going to have one large compartment with no dividers inside the bag. What I left in here was what you'll see when you open this bag for the first time. The bag is going to come with a fluorescent yellow ring cover, so this is going to be able to go over the entire bag, keep everything inside nice and dry, and all the bags will come with a shoulder strap as well. And this is going to mount to the front of the bag, right where your handle would be. So if you don't want to use this, you can also decide if you want to keep it thrown in there for when you get to where you're going, you can carry the bag over your shoulder if you don't want to use the handle. Toss that to the side. All bags are going to share the same main compartment, and they're going to share this built-in waterproof pouch. So if you need extra rain protection in addition to the cover, this is going to keep you safe in a pinch. So if you have a camera with you, a cell phone, some electronic device you don't want to get wet, you can put it in here. You can bungee this down, and it's going to be added waterproof protection for any of your valuables that you have inside your bag. Closing that up. Now, the thing that is going to be shared with all these bags as well is they're all expandable bags. So the expandable pouches are going to be different on each one. And I want to demonstrate with the main bag in front of me on the 308. They're going to be a 360 zipper, and they're going to pop up about an inch and a half. Because it's a 360 design, it's going to be a universal pop-up, and it's not going to just pop up in the back or the front. You're going to get an even pop-up across the entire bag line. Now, that's going to be different slightly with each of these bags. With the 308 you have in front of me, because the bag is so rigid in its design, that pop-up doesn't do anything to deter from the performance of the bag. On the 307 to my left, the zipper is actually located right here at the bottom, and the bottom pops up about an inch and a half on the bottom. And because most of your heavy items are going to be in the bottom of the bag, doesn't really do anything to deter the rigidity of the bag as well. Now on the 306, your expandable zipper is going to be right in the middle section here. Because this bag is so big to begin with, adding if you, if you unzip that and add the expandable feature to it, it gets a little floppy and the bag kind of flexes back and forth. 
Honestly, this bag is so big, you really don't need to use that expandable zipper. So that's the only really nitpick that I have with the 306. Moving back to the 308 in the middle here, we've pretty much kit on all the key features that these bags share except for one. They're all gonna have the XS port on the back. And what this is, it's a rubber port and it allows you to run power cables into the bag itself. This is gonna be nice because it's gonna give you a little bit of waterproof feature. You're not gonna have to keep some of the zippers open to get, the, the, to get any kind of electronic wiring into the bag. This allows you a nice clean design to run a power port into the bag to power any electronic devices you might need. Now on the 308, the power port is gonna run power. You're gonna be able to run a wire directly into the main compartment of your bag. That is different on the 307 and 306. On the 307 and 306, the power port is actually located up top and it allows you to run power directly into the main compartment or the main top map pouch on your bag. So the last key feature I wanna point out on the 308, and this is what's gonna set itself apart from the other two bags, they're all gonna have pockets on the side. With the 308, you actually have this removable fanny pack. So for example, if you're a dad out there taking your kids to the zoo and you need some extra storage, or if you're just a rider that doesn't wanna take your, your wallet or leave your wallet in your bag and you don't wanna take the whole bag in here, you simply take the fanny pack off your bag, keep your valuables with you, and you can pretty much go anywhere you wanna go in style with this fashionable little accessory from GV. So again, it looks great, it's stylish, and it allows me to go wherever I wanna go while carrying my valuables. So let's get into the actual installation of this bag now. We've kind of hit on all the features. We've talked about what this is. Let's go into the actual design itself. So the bag itself is gonna to mount to your bike with, first of all, there's a safety strap right here. So this is gonna go around your handlebars. It's gonna go around a steering stem, something to secure it to your bike. And then you're gonna have your main, your main harness on the bottom. And what this does, and we've talked about installation, installing this is gonna be a less than a one out of three in our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty for installation. But the first thing you have to do is you have to get the bike specific flange to mount this to your bike. So the flange is gonna look something like this. It's gonna be a three to four hole design metal flange, and you're gonna remove the three to four screws on your tank filler cap and replace it with the screws that GB is gonna provide. They're gonna be a little bit longer than your actual factory screws to give you the added length you need to mount this to your bike. Once the flange is mounted to your bike, it's simply going to lock this ring down to your motorcycle, creating an actual mounting point for your bike. Once the flange or once the, uh, the ring is mounted, it's as simple as clipping down the bag on top of your tank, then it's locked in place and you've got nowhere to go. It's locked on the top of your tank to get it off there's this little trigger right here, pull the trigger, and it pops right off. Again, once that ring is actually installed on your motorcycle, the getting the bag on and off, the install of the bag itself, it's a five second process. Super easy to do. So GV has done a really great job of giving you a full line of, G, of excess tank bags that are gonna be extremely versatile, and they're also gonna be large in their capacity. I like a larger tank bag. So the fact that all these bags are gonna range from 15 liters up to 25 liters gives me the room that I need when I'm out on a longer trip. There's a lot of folks out there rocking GV products. If you'd like to hear more about what they have to say, click below. Read other riders' opinions and thoughts about how they feel about the GV luggage they're using on their motorcycle. More questions for us? Never hesitate to give us a call on the phone. 877-792-9455 will get you on the phone with the Gear Geek or simply type us out an email cs at revzola.com. Thank you for joining us for the look at the GV XS Tank Lock Tank Bag Series. I'm Spurgeon. Enjoy the ride.